Uh, and uh, interestingly, there, there's a dispute over what that phrase means at the Atlantic. Right, Lenin, meaning Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, the Soviet dictator, and uh, President Woodrow Wilson of the United States. Charter. Immediately, there's vast enthusiasm around. So both Lenin and Woodrow Wilson were appalled by colonialism and imperialism. On the world, and that's for sure about the Atlantic Charter because of this self-determination principle. It seems to mean that empire is out, but Churchill, doesn't see it that way. The Atlantic Charter is about Hitler's empire, not his empire, and it's not about empire in general. And he actually succeeds in convincing FDR of this fact by the end of the day of, of FDR's life. And so in a sense, if we look carefully, we see that self-determination and human rights are in a kind of hydraulic relationship. Human rights for most of the world turns out to be a kind of consolation prize. What they're not getting uh, is self-determination and human rights is given instead. In part because the major powers don't see human rights having any implications for the end of empire. That's quite important. As late as the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, self-determination is not in the idea of human rights. And I think when we look and do a differential history around the world, it shouldn't be surprising that there's such enthusiasm about the Atlantic Charter and almost none about the Universal Declaration outside the North Atlantic zone. And I think that should be sobering.